So this is our tire pyrolysis V1. Um, the aim of it is to turn used tires through a process called pyrolysis into fuel that we can run in a combustion engine. So um, for the overview of it, we've got our main tank here which is going to store our tires and inside uh, another drum which will have a fire underneath. Um, it'll come up into this first one here which is our, our first fraction so all the heavier stuff we're pretty much making crude oil from tires here so we're going to have a multiple layer of um, different kind of things then it's going to go up and through the cooling tubes so that's just going to go for a tube it's going to have another tube on the outside diameter with cold water flowing with it to create the condensation and the second fraction will get captured in there and then the even lighter fractions will travel all the way down to the final fraction which should be um, a little bit more of a refined setup so we're pretty much just basing this off uh, a Russian dude that has been doing it and making some videos about it so um, shout out to him at 54 Garage because you gave us the inspiration to design it like this um, we went out this morning and got a whole bunch of cylinders let's go um, we've got, uh, so these are going to be for our different fractions. Um, we also got a whole bunch of these fire extinguishers because they're free and they're definitely going to come in handy for something like that. Right, so we've got our LPG cylinder which is going to be our main tank. It's full with um, LPG still. So I don't know what the best way to do this is but you reckon that's, that's fucking so scary. We're just shitting ourselves because, um, yeah. I don't want to blow up. But we need this LPG out of there so we can continue. That'd be happening, but I've just got no idea how to safely empty one of these things. Wow, I can check this out. It's coming out so hard and fast, it's created like LPG ice. Long <laughs> way to die. <laughs> okay. Frozen. What's happened when you use water to LPG? Frozen over there. It's got no LPG in it, guys, or no pressure of LPG, which makes me come to the conclusion that you can't have liquid LPG in a form that's not compressed because when it's in an atmospheric pressure, it just turns from liquid to gas. Now just make sure that there's no gas, um, can't be any gas left in there because it was completely full. We've got our first fraction, second fraction and last fraction so it's coming along boys. So we've got our main tank, we chucked a few things on the bottom to make the stands and it's uh, our first fraction tank which will go up and over in the bend into the, the next set of tanks. Got no valve in there at the moment, but we're gonna get a fitting on the bottom so we can run a ball valve just to, um, to dump it out and we'll probably just have a tray down there, but also we'll have more room because this will be more elevated inside the um, inside that thing. 
but yeah, we'll keep updating you as it goes along. You want to explain to us what's going on here, George? All right, so we have our first, um, obviously, our tank round pliers we're going to go into. Here's our um, lid that's going to be secured with a couple of bits of flat bar around there and um, some threaded rod, which will bob down, and we'll use a fire seal on there. So um, this whole unit will sit inside our 40 gallon drum over there, which is the um, going to have the fire in it, um, then it'll come up through here into our first fraction, so that'll be the heaviest fraction. We'll have our ball valve on the bottom, which we'll get a fitting for. Um, it'll come up through here and then into the first condenser. So, so what's this, this here? This is the condenser, so it's like, um, creates condensation, pretty much. Like, it's going to cool it down as it comes through, and I'm pretty sure that's going to help the water separate out of what's in there, because afterwards we'll have a water and, um, oil separator so we come in here to the second fraction and that'll be lighter and like a little bit closer to, to the gas that we're looking for and it'll come back down here into another condensator along here and then um, it'll go into the final one which will be draining the thing out of it and then we've got our other two over there which will be making our um, little refinery thing so yeah it's coming together we're smashing it this is how far i have got so started putting these on so I can seal the lid. Um, yeah, one of those is fully welded off. It's all fully welded off. This one's just tacked um, in there. So, got to finish welding that one up. Make a um, make another one for the bottom and connect all the water tubes and get a fitting on the top. Um, and then we'll make a little bit of a frame as well to hold it upright and have that elevated. So we also need a f another 40 gallon drum to extend the top of it to fully cover it with a chimney because we want to enclose the entire thing inside the fire source. Um Just got some legs on it just to hold this side of the unit upright. A few more bits of welding to do. Um, got to finish the lid off, got to make the 40 gallon drum, and then we just need the um, the ball valves. And then comes the part about thinking about cutting the tyres up. So that's about as far as I have got with it um, so far. That was about one and a half days um, working on it. Uh, just about to get ready because I have to get on a plane to go down south for the next round of Super Sprint NZ to do some of the broadcasting stuff. So i um, going to finish it next week when I get back. 
So if there's any questions anyone else has about pyrolysis or what we're making, uh, comment below. I'm still learning as we go as well, but um, best way to learn is to try it, I reckon. Super excited to see if this is going to work. Um, I am designing a machine now to be able to shred the tyres or to cut them into small enough pieces to fit inside the main reactor. So um, that's one that I have to sort out. Um, we still need the ball valves and I just need to finish off sealing the main unit and finishing the firebox. So hopefully next week we'll be able to do a test run and... Um, make a bit of uh, crude oil from tyres and then from there we'll start to uh, make a distiller and see if we can refine it to be a clean enough fuel to be used in a combustion engine so um, stay tuned don't forget to give the channel a sub if you haven't already um, give us a comment down below what you think so so far the entire project has only costed I paid four dollars each for the LPG bottles. There was five of them, so that's twenty bucks. We paid twenty bucks for the main LPG tank. Obviously, gas get in there and back. I already had a welder and some gas, so that was just time really for me. And um, most of those tubes and bins and stuff, we're just using what I had. I haven't gone out to buy anything, so as you'll see, been makeshifting a few things just to uh, to get it to work. But yeah, the idea behind it is to be able to. You know make one of these with with bugger all stuff um in the future too so this is just the first pyrolysis machine the next one i want to make is a microwave pyrolysis machine so in this machine you need to use fire to um get the pyrolysis reactor going but i want to do one that is running off microwaves so then it has the option of inputting electricity that's not in the grid so say hydroelectric or solar or or something along those lines but um we've been thinking we want to run a car on this fuel when it's finished and also going to be making another dry cell hydrogen reactor which i made a long time ago and didn't um get any videos about so i want to start doing a bit of videos about that kind of stuff as well because we're all about seeing what we can use to help us out so make sure you stay tuned to find out if we can make fuel out of used tires Rest against my